What's up guys? Hope everybody out there is doing well. Um, making friends with other expats in the Philippines. Good idea, bad idea, pros to cons. Uh, when I first came to the Philippines, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'll meet some people. I'll meet some other expats. Now, when I first moved here, we were down in Mindanao and uh, there were no other expats around. I think maybe one or two um, that I ran into and kind of talked a little bit to them. Um, but there were no other expats down in Mindanao that I could talk to. So I was happy to talk to anybody that spoke English and uh, just carry on a conversation. Um, but then we moved up here to Angola City where there's a lot more expats up there. It's a pretty big expat community. So I'm like, yeah, okay, let me, let me meet up with some people. So I met up with some people and, you know, got to know them a little bit. Uh, one, one guy I got to know, he, he was the kind of person that no matter what room you were in, he had to talk the loudest, be above everybody, you know, all eyes on me, listen to what I have to say, uh, which is kind of good and kind of bad because the guy would tell you things and, you know, he just, he just felt the need to talk all the time. And after getting to know him and then getting to know what his personal life was about, I was like, you know what, I, this person now, I wouldn't consider him a friend. I would consider him more of an acquaintance. Hey, I know the guy. Um, this guy would talk about other people. Hey, uh, you know this guy? Uh, yeah, this guy's an idiot. You know this guy? Oh, this guy's this, this guy. He would always talk about other people, other expats and stuff. I'm the kind of person, I don't base my opinion and friendship off of what somebody else says if I don't know the person. I myself will base my own opinion off of somebody when I get to know them. But that's the kind of person he was. And it was like, if he's talking about other people behind their backs, I wonder what he's saying about me behind my back. So I was like, yeah, let me kind of distance myself from this guy. Another guy I met, nice guy. To me, his problem was he wanted to be friends with everybody. Everybody. No matter where you were at, no matter where he was at, he wanted to be friends with everybody. And, you know, he would call me, oh, you're my friend, you're my friend. I'm like, all right, good. But a couple times people had said things about me in a room or in an area that he was in, and he just kept his mouth shut and he wouldn't stick up for me, but he called me a friend. Somebody like that, you know what? Are they a nice person? Yeah, they're a nice person. They are a nice person, but to me, their downfall is they want to be friends with everybody. They won't stick up to their true, for who they for who they call their true friends. So, is that the kind of friend I really want? Not really. Um, nice person, just not my kind of friend. Another guy I met. This guy was a true guy, honest guy. Um, if he had a disagreement, he would say, "Hey, I got a disagreement with you. Uh, here's why." and I would respect him. Uh, a couple times people said things about me and he stuck up for me and uh, gave his opinion. And to me, that's a friend. I might not see this guy for months, weeks, but when I see him, I can talk to this guy and I respect this guy as a friend. Um, you gotta watch here. You really, really gotta watch here. Uh, people, they. I ran into people that, man, they'll, they'll sit there and they'll spill their guts to you. It's like, okay, why are you spilling your guts to me? People sometimes just want somebody to talk to. Uh, so it's like, do you, do, I guess it's like, I've always been the kind of person I know a lot of people, but I don't have a lot of friends, if you know what I mean. I know a lot of people, <clears throat> but there's a handful of people that I would consider my friend. I have people right now, I would call them friends. I don't sit and hang out with them daily. I don't go to their house. They don't come to my house. We don't sit around. We don't drink. We don't hang out. But I might meet this person a couple times a week, a couple times a month, go out for a meal, sit down, and we can talk. We can talk about things. And I trust that person. I think age also has a lot to do with it. Uh, me, I'm at the age where 
I don't have time basically for childish games. He said, she said, oh, this, that. I don't have time for that. I am who I am. <laughs> Either you like me or you don't like me. Uh, but you have foreigners here. You know, you got good foreigners here. There are good expats here living in this area, in the Philippines. Uh, you got groups that get together all the time. They hang out. And for the most part, they're, they're grown adults. You know, they've, they've lived their life. They've earned a right to retire here in the Philippines. They don't care what other people think about them. They don't care what other people say about them. They're secure enough in themselves to where it doesn't let them bother. It doesn't bother them. Um, you have ones that, man, they, they just they hang together. They live in a development together. You know, they don't go out and they don't associate with anybody else but their own little core group. I'm seeing a big trend here, and I call them young bucks. Young bucks. They're coming in here in their mid-30s, mid-40s. Now, before I continue, I want to say, listen, I don't want anybody to sit there and say, well, you're not a doctor. You don't know what you're talking about. Uh, who are you to say? These are my observations and what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing. You got these young bucks coming in. They want to make a name for themselves. Uh, here's what I'm noticing get a lot of guys that are coming over here and they have PTSD I don't say don't don't tell me about PTSD you're not an expert you know there are many 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 guys out there that yes they they really truly do have PTSD then you got some out there and I've heard it come out of their mouths I just know how to play the game I know how to play the game to get disability on PTSD. They come over here and they told me this. They might be on medication. They come over here, they go to the VA, they get their medication from the VA. The VA says, okay, we see you're getting your medication, but they're not taking their medication. They're getting it, they're playing the game. Guys, one thing, one thing. Not every person that was in the military is a good person. Not every person that's in law enforcement is a good, a good person. Not everybody that's a lawyer or a judge is a good person. Not every politician is a good person. You got the good and the bad. But I've noticed these young bucks are coming over here and they're, they're, they're trying to make a name for themselves. You know, right now in the YouTube world, and the only reason I know about it is because I'm in the YouTube world. You've got two people right now going at it one point they were friends it's another thing if you're a friend with somebody watch what you tell them if you think all right you know you're my good friend and I can tell you this and tell you that and tell you this and tell you that you trust that person to keep that within themselves now you have a falling out now I've got information on you you've got information on me now what am I gonna do with it what am I gonna do with it so you got to make sure you have a close good friend if you're willing to spill the dirty stuff out there youtubers you guys know me I might not know all you guys yes I've met subscribers <gasps> I've met really good subscribers people that just by sitting and talking to them I could tell they're a good person and if they were here I would I would be an associate and a friend to them so you, you got to be careful you got to be careful who your friends are so now you have one with dirt on one and one with dirt on the other. Things are falling apart. This one's saying this, this one's saying that. You got one who's a big channel. You know, they've got hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Um, they're using that platform to trash this person. This person has a small channel. Um, they use their quote influence that they have. You know, just because I, I meet like a movie star and I take a picture with them, the movie star don't know me from a hole in the wall. He took a picture with me. But you got this going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This person said this, this person did that, this person did that. Right now, one party is putting out what they believe is right. What they believe is why they are doing what they're doing. And all this stuff about the other party. 
you only hear one side of the story. There's three sides to the story. I've always said there's three sides. One person's side, the other person's side, and the truth. One person's side said, you know what, if you want to start a war, I'll bring my choppers and tanks. Well, okay, but what if the other person has a bomb, a nuclear bomb? You're hearing bittering going back and forth, but you're only hearing one side of the story. Nobody's ever going to go out there and say, listen, yeah, I did this. I did this. Yep. What they said, they're not going to tell you that. Like I said, as a YouTuber, we show you our life. But when the camera's off, what's going on behind the scenes? There's a lot of creepy YouTubers out there, and uh, they only show you what's going on in front of the camera. They don't show you their creepy life that they're doing. Um, so what is going on? Like I said, nobody's ever going to admit that what they did is wrong. I've seen the one channel did put out a video they basically incriminated themselves in their own video and they pulled it down real quick. Um, but you've got to be careful who you make friends with. These young bucks, I, 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 I see them and the thing is, they were a mess up. They were a mess up their whole life. Got into the, hang on, truck going by here. They, uh, they were a mess up their whole life. They were a mess up before they went in the military. They were a mess up in the military. They got out and they were a mess up after they were out of the military. And they said, wait, I know how to play the system. Let me play the system. And it comes out of their own mouth. Like I said, don't jump on me and say, you don't know what you're talking about. I have friends who were in Vietnam, diagnosed with PTDS. PSTD, PTD. You know what I'm talking about. They could have went and they could have collected. But they said, no, I've learned to deal with it. And then they went on, worked, worked their whole life, retired, and now they're over here. They didn't play the system. There's a lot of these young bucks out there playing the system. Uh, why do people get together? Why do people become friends? You know, a lot of times they get together and uh, because it just, it's nice to talk with another foreigner, to sit down, carry on a camera, conversation, you have something in mind, in common. You know, I know guys right now, they get together and they watch football every, every, uh, every time there's a game on because they have that in common. That's why they get together. Um, but then again, like I said, you got guys that just wanna, they just wanna get together and try to fit in. Uh, try to impress people. And after you listen to what they're saying after a while, you can catch them in lies, you can catch them in half-truths um, but I, like I said I've never based my opinion off of someone off of what anybody else said about them I would get to know that person first and then base my opinion off of that um, you got people out in the provinces man they, they're just dying to speak to another foreigner and because they're the only foreigner around they boom they hook up together and they hang out together um, it can be very it can be very it could be a good thing here to have good, solid friendship with other farmers. It can be a toxic experience here also if you have a falling out. Now, if you have a falling out and you got an issue with one person and you're making accusations about this person and this person and I'm going to take you to court and I'm taking you to court, going back, take it to court. Take it to court, let that third truth come out. Remember. This person, this person's story, and then the truth. The person, I don't want to put that up. The person who will determine the truth will be a court. Let the court decide. But guys, just, you always have to be careful. You do. You, you have to be careful who you make friends here with. Um, some people like to push their weight around. You don't know who I know. Oh, yeah? You made me mad. You don't know who I know. Grown adults will handle it. Grown adults will let it be. Grown adults will come to a compromise. Young children and young bucks will go back and forth at each other. But that's just my two cents. Like, like they always say, what is, you know, if there is, say, 
8,000 Navy SEALs ever in the history of the Navy SEALs. 20,000 live here in the Philippines. You know what I mean? Everybody's got a story. Everybody, some people try to impress people with their stories. So anyways, guys, good, bad, just what I say is just be very careful. Be very careful who you make friends with here in the Philippines. You know, you might not get along with everybody. That's just the way life is. Um, there was one person here when I first met him, I didn't care for him. But after a while, I kind of got to know him. I was like, all right, well, we started off on a bad foot. But now, okay, I understand you. You understand me. I might not agree with everything you say or do, but that's just the way it is. Um, but anyways, guys, like I said, just be careful. Be careful. Um, these are my two cents. My two cents doesn't make too much sense to some people. Um, these are just my thoughts. So anyways, with that being said, take care of yourself, each other. Sick the elderly and the young. Pets, take care of your pets. And what's the old saying? Keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. With that, we'll talk to you later.